Hello YouTube and uh, this is starting to be common sight uh, okay <coughs> okay a lot of carpet to vacuum and this is my favorite upright <laughs> so uh, actually yes it is I don't even have to think about that. Kirby tradition. And first it scared me because it was from 1979. But it is very in very good condition.
elämää. Why I keep saying that? Well. <laughs> that was... I can't really keep saying that this was the best of all. But for me, it was. That's just it. And I explain a bit when we look at that bag. Okay, let's take that bag out. Easier to show this way. And uh, I have no idea what it picked up. So we have to investigate that. Okay. And there is this screw because if bag goes flat against this, it allows airflow to blow. Simple as that, and there is screw there, so it doesn't come off that bad. Okay, we have back out, and uh, what I am going to do is simply <laughs> cut it open. So, okay, there goes few dollars or euros, but. Well, we need to see what is there, and uh, so on, so I speed this up. Okay, well, there is one bag, emptied, good as I can, and uh, well, let's put this more to one place. I hope that is not too bright. So, carpet fibers. And I guess a bit dust. Well, not fine dust, but mostly carpet fibers. Okay. And, uh, yes. Uh, not nearly as much as the uh, Kirby G6. So this is more like typical pickup. And uh, well, now someone might be here. Oh, that's bad. Well, you have to remember that situations will change and always change how much people there is, but, well, <laughs> and this has been now vacuumed multiple times with uprights, and uh, it can't be always a huge pile of sand. That is just a fact. And, uh, okay, we have to get Read of that. Okay, that was the Kirby tradition performance, and you saw what was in the back. And uh, you might be wondering, oh, that was bad. There was not much. Well, you have to remember that I went over this carpet with the key six, what was absolutely insane, and uh, my dad uses that cursor, SIBO, upright, uh, several times a week, so after all those, this still 
found that fine dust and uh, grit. And uh, good, I'm out. So, plenty of airflow. Uh, what was very impressive was that agitation. And it didn't rip the carpet fibers because those are soft, those crystals, and still agitation is very good. So, plenty of airflow and constantly holding that rook and carpet up in the nozzle. That, that feeling is just something that you need to experiment. Uh, and uh, oh, lightning is a bit bad. So, absolutely lovely vacuum, much lighter than the key 6 what I had here. It's not so aggressive. This is nice and soft sounding and over 100 CFM from the nozzle. So, Dyson Sark, whatever, <laughs> not a chance competing with this. So, and that is just something what have been measured. If you prefer those vacuums, that's fine and I totally understand. But anyway, very impressive. So, I wonder when that stops that grit and sand coming out, because now we saw uh, less, and that's no wonder, because my dad uses that cursor several times a week, so, uh, and final money shot, my favorite Kirby, my baby, <laughs> it's not for everyone, but if you have chance to use it, in uh, spaces like this, oh man, I fell in love with it again. So, rant over. <laughs> uh, okay, I have to stop this sometime, so thanks so much for watching and uh, I had a blast <laughs> using this much more than the G6. So, goodbye.